<clears throat> he says, he hold, he's on the water going like this, right? And he goes, NIGGER! 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 Like, NIGGER! NIGGER! And then literally all of us, and literally all of us, the rest of the party, we're just looking like... What the fuck? You know... What is the home wars? It's Jotzi back at again with another video. What's good? Um, back with another story time episode once again. All right, <clears throat> you know, cause I be like, I'm pumping out these story time episodes lately. So um, let's go. This is going to be the time that my friend, okay, crashed. Not only crashed his pool party, but I had to apologize for. Saying the N word, basically. Now I've been waiting to tell the story for like a really long time, um, but now I feel like this is the time to just you know tell it and um, on okay on video and yeah. But here's the difference with between this. Okay, so basically this is gonna be like a two parter story time. That's going to be what's different about this. So in part one, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys, you know, what happened, right, in this episode. And then in part two, I'm going to tell you guys what happened after the fact. Basically where the apology comes in. <coughs> but, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, yeah, and also, like, I have the, you know, notes on my phone in case if I, you know, forget. But, anyway. <coughs> Let's go. So around this time, um, me, so basically me and my, my friends will say Sif, Dre, I mentioned, you know, in my videos from time to time. Um, <clears throat> my voice is, you know, like, basically, because of the pollen, and yeah. Anyways, so just be aware of that. Deal with it. So, um, Basically, we are not in junior high anymore, okay? We're not in middle school anymore, okay? Junior high is done. We we graduated. We're all, like, leaving. And it's basically, like, the last day, you know, school. Right? <clears throat> so, basically, um, when I was leaving... So, I'm leaving with my friends, right? We're all going through our buses and this and that. Like, we, we basically, like, graduated junior high, basically. So... You know, it's the last day. So we're saying, like, oh, it's the last day. Basically saying that, you know, junior high, then there's high school, then there's a, our, you know, career slash life and whatnot. And, um, basically I was kind of like saying stuff like what what I will say. Say, like, I did, like, get myself out there. But, like, you know, the pointless stuff where it's like, where it's like you think it matters, but it doesn't. You know, people have had altercations with are irrelevant because uh, at the end of the day, I am not ever going to see them again, all right? I'm never going to see them again, and I'm going to continue to make myself successful, okay? That's basically what I Like, I was, listen, I was preaching, okay? I acted like I was giving a speech. I acted like I was giving a speech around that time because I was basically, like, you know, speaking about it, you know, how... Look, but yeah, I was basically just saying how like oh it doesn't matter and you know, blah blah blah. <clears throat> and my friends there was like, okay, <laughs> as was all they said was they was like, all right. Ugh, <clears throat> my throat. Anyways, <clears throat> so I get on the bus and I get home, right? So when I get home, right, I get this invitation from mom because she's basically. From uh, Dre's mom. And basically she invited me to this pool party. And I was like alright cool I'll go. 
you know. <clears throat> so, you know, I have my, you know, swimsuits and, you know, for the pool and blah, blah, blah. So, wait, hold on. Sorry to fix the camera real quick. But anyways, so, um, next day, it's on, a, I believe, Saturday. I get there. And, um, you know, I see my friends, and, you know, we're just kicking in, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. And let me just describe Dre right quick. Dre pretty much is kind of like the um, nerd in our friend group. He was kind of like this kind of like, a, I don't know, goofy type of nerd in our friend group, pretty much. And um, he was kind of like that, like, geeky type of friend, you know? Basically. But anyways. <coughs> So, you know, it was Dre's party, and, um, yeah. And there was some other friends where it was, like, I think we'll say Jay, which he's, like, an associate, but, yeah, let's see. It was, let's see, I'll say her name is just Jay, um, we'll call him, uh, da -da 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 -da. we'll say C, okay, we'll just say C. And, the, and then there was, like, um, Sif sister will say, I think her name was Peyton. I mentioned her in the last video for my other story time, but yeah. And then there was some other people, which were the parents and, you know, other sisters. But anyways, so we're all there at the party. So we're all there at the party, right? And, you know, we're just, you know, having a good time. And they were having a barbecue, you know, we're eating before, you know, went to the pool and all that stuff. And I was um, vlogging, like when we was in the pool. Because in case you guys don't know, I use... Because this was back when I didn't have, like, a proper camera. So I would use this, okay? This was the 3DS camera that I used. See this? See it right here? Yeah, fantastic. Anyway, so, so yeah, I used that camera for, um, you know, because I was vlogging at the pool. The same content that I do now, basically. <clears throat> So I'm just vlogging and whatnot, you know, as usual. As usual. I made videos as usual. But anyways. <clears throat> so we're just at the pool, you know, we're just chillaxing. You know, the parents, they're talking. We're just having a good time at the pool and, you know, just talking and whatnot. <clears throat> because I guess she wanted to celebrate that, like, Drew's mom. Dre's mom. Sorry. That, um, like, we was, you know, since we're graduating, you know, middle school, we were in high school. That's basically why she did it, did the party, but anyways. So, um, yeah. So, we're in the pool. And this is where it gets started, okay? This is where this whole thing gets started, okay? So, then, all of a sudden, Dre, who's... Um, and before you guys ask, yes, yes, he was, like, I don't even, like, I don't even tell you guys what color he was, because, like, y'all already knew what it was, y'all would expect that he was white, right, but anyways, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, so then, Dre, basically, I'll call him a child, so then all of a sudden, um, him just randomly saying to, we'll call him Nico, basically. My other, my other friend who's mixed. Because he's like mixed with black and Italian. You know, Italian, but anyways. So, he ends up saying, go back to Italy. Towards him. So, we're just like, okay. Like, we just brushed it off, you know? So, um... So we're like, okay, that's weird. Um, so, so anyway, we just kept on hanging out, just chilling at the pool. And at the pool party and just having a good time. <clears throat> so, um, then, out of nowhere, this is where this whole thing gets real. Anyways. So, Dre, he ends up saying, so he literally just blurts out, right? He just blurts out to, like, the whole crowd, like, like even the parents can hear as well. 
they basically end up yelling. He basically, yo, he yells, go back to Africa. Like, go back to Africa, and then, and then we just, pu and then we just pause. You know, we just pause, and we're just like, and then some of us, we start nervously laughing, like, <laughs> you know that nervous laugh where it's like, it feels just so uncomfortable, right? And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, me having no filter, I was like, um, go back to Europe. That's that, that's literally why I basically said so. Go back to Europe. Which let me just say this. I know it's, it was not the best thing to say. I know it was not the best thing to say to him. But um, um, it was basically kind of just like um, oh racist. Oh, you made a racist joke back to me, and so I made like a racist joke, you know, back you know to you. Um. Yeah, just, I know, I should have known better. I know, I should have known better. But anyways, <clears throat> so, um, then this is where it kind of just gets weird. It basically kind of just gets weird because, like, my par the parents are noticing it, and it's kind of just like, a bro. So he gives me the middle finger, right? Like, just does this, and I do it back to him. So, like I said, once again, because, like I said, again, we brush it off and go back to hanging out and chilling at the pool party. As usual. Because he had, like, a pool in his backyard, and, and yeah. Anyways. So, then, this is where this this comes in. This is where the reason why he had to apologize once again. Um... So, yeah, so he's, so we're like doing water guns, right? So we have these water guns in the pool, basically. It was like floaties in the pool, you know, all that stuff. So we're like playing with these water guns and, you know, just because we're bored, obviously we ain't got nothing else to do. So the party was getting boring, so we decided to just play with water guns, basically. <clears throat> so, um... As we're playing with the water guns, Dre has a water gun, and he's holding it like this. And then he's basically like, you know, shooting a water gun at Sif, my best friend. So, it, so this is where, okay. So this is where the story is basically no longer, well, this is where the sto story is just no longer, you know, funny, basically. No longer entertaining. This, well... I mean, entertaining, yes, but th but this is where the story is, like, no longer, this is where it gets to, like, you know, real serious and real crazy, okay? This is where it becomes, like, a serious-ass moment. This is where it becomes, like, a crazy-ass moment, too. Like, I have a lot of crazy moments, but this one was, like, the most crazy. But anyways. So, as he's shooting the water gun, right? As he's shooting the water gun at Sif, Okay? S I T H Sif. And then Sif, he's telling him to stop. And then we're and then as for everybody else, like us, we're we're like, we know this is getting serious, right? Well, like, oh, this is serious now. So we're like, yeah, we're like, Dre, stop, what's wrong with you? Like so then all of a sudden he looks like he's about to start crying, his face is turning red. He's still holding the water gun, right? And then, next thing you know, he goes, <clears throat> he says, he hold, he's holding the water gun like this, right? And he goes, NIGGER! And then literally all of us, and literally all of us, the rest of the party, we're just looking like. What the f- 
but you know so <clears throat> yeah so like everybody's having different reactions okay oh somebody sent me a notification <laughs> um anyways so um yeah um so we're all just having these different reactions Everybody's shocked at this point. Everybody is. So me, I'm just like, yeah, you really fucked up. Like you, you, like you just fucked up this time, right? <clears throat> so not only he said the N word, it's not just that, but he also, be, but it was basically kind of just like, so he starts cussing out everybody at the party, basically, basically, um, just saying stuff like, I don't know, just if. Just, it was kind of acting like a maniac, you know, basically was. So, his mom, he basically tells, like, everybody got the pool, get out the pool. And, of course, he got out the pool because, like, we didn't want to deal with him. Or, basically, we didn't want to, like, you know, be around him. So, so his parents, they're mad as fuck. They're pissed off. Their face is red as well. And, they're, and then his mom was like, stop it right now! And everything else. So, we're all watching... So we're just all watching this, and we're like, "What? What? What the fuck is going on here? Like, what? Like, where did this even come from?" <clears throat> and then, and then here's the, this is where it gets even more crazier. Okay, you know it was crazy. Now this is where it's gonna get even more crazier. So as his mom is telling him to get out the pool, right? He he goes, "No, you bench," and we're, and we're just like, "Well, well, damn, well, damn." Like you cussing out everybody at this party. It's like what what's going on here, yo? What is going on here? Like, <clears throat> so so of course they got him out the pool. He had to like go upstairs to his room and this and that. He had to like calm him down. And this and then literally about the whole party, it was silence. It was just silence. Like nobody was saying anything. Everybody was just like having their own reactions. Like, we were just all silent. Just straight up silent. So, we're like sitting at the hot tub now. And Sif, he's laughing a little bit. I'm like, it's, it's not even funny. Just come on, it's not funny. <clears throat> and then, um. So, we're all just silent at this point. Like, we're just shocked. And then Nico, we'll call him Nico, he's sitting, um. Like at the corner. So I asked him, Are you alright? He's like, Yeah. And I'm like, It's because of Dre, isn't it? And he's like, I'm just in shock. Like, you know, like, of course everyone was in shock. Because we didn't expect him to be like that. So, me and Sif were talking about it, and we didn't expect him to be like, We're like, We didn't know Dre was going to be like that. He never, um, Cussing anybody out and this, that, and the other. Like we, like we didn't think he was gonna be like that. And so we're kind of thinking back, like, has he always had a te had a temper like this? And then we're kind of thinking back to like I think sixth grade, I believe, or like where I basically here's a quick main story time, right? So we're having a flashback, right, to basically when we was to base around that time where like um. Where Dre, he was like um, slamming the cabinet door, and then all the other, and then all the other where we had teachers, they had to like get the class to another room, cause like they thought he was well a threat, and um, yeah. And I was like, I don't know. I believe that was like either elementary. I don't know. I don't know. So we're, but we were like mostly thinking about to his temper, like when it was like elementary, but anyways. <clears throat> so, um, we're like, huh, maybe he did. So Dre's mom, he come, I mean, <laughs> why is he, she, so she comes down and she's apologizing to everybody to the party. She's like, oh, I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry you had to, you know, see what happened, this, that, the other. And the party was almost over anyway, so, yeah. Yeah, what a way to end the party. But anyways. So, my mom, basically, my mom is kind of like, 
You know how some moms, they would act so cordial and so professional in public, but then one, like, in front of company, but then once when they, excuse me, but once when they, like, go on to, like, in private, or car, in the car, whatever, they're like, what the, f you know. So, me and mom were leaving, right? You know, everybody's just leaving the party at this point, and, yeah. So, once when we leave, okay? My mom, bro, she started going the fuck off. Like, obviously, she went the fuck off. She was like, what the hell, and this, that, and, you know, this, that, that, and the other. While we was driving home. <sighs> yeah. So, we're getting home now, right? And... Just, yeah, that was it. We got home. So, now we're at the church now, right? This is the next day on Sunday. We're not at my ghetto church, okay? So, I'm watching the video. And, um... From when, I, from when we was vlogging. <clears throat> and then my mom was like, You should have record, recorded him um, doing this and that. And so... Hmm. Now I was like... Like, what happened? Like, now nah, I was in the video. It was in the story. She was like, what happened? And then mom was like, oh, like, he said this and that. Like, he basically made, like, a whole maniatic scene at the party. And I was like, what? You know, when we so showed the video. Now, let me just say this, okay? Now, let me just say this. To be honest, I pretty much thought that he kind of, like, got it from somebody in the family, you know, because they were born around the time where, you know, like, segregation was a thing and this, that, and the other. <sighs> like, I, I won't say it was his parents, because, you know, they was obviously, you know, pissed off. But, um... But it's the thing, here's the thing. I didn't like how people were making excuses for him. Like, some people were making excuses like, oh, maybe he got it from YouTube. Maybe he probably didn't know what the N-word was. And it's like, we literally just talked about the N-word in, like, 7th grade. Like, either half of 6th or literally in the 7th grade. He knows what the N-word is. Like, we were literally teenagers, well, still are. But we were, like, in our early teens when it happened. Like, it's like, you guys, he was not, like, 3 or 4. He was like thirteen or fourteen when this happened. Like we were all, like we were all, like I said, still teenage. We were all, all in like early teens when this happened. Like we are about to leave junior high, about to go to, to high school. He knows what it is. We're about to graduate junior high, about to go to high school. Just he know he knows what the word is. Like, come on now. Anyway, so I didn't like the excuses they were making. But anyways. <clears throat> So anyway, so I'm at my room, so I'm in my room, and I'm looking back at the video that we vlogged together, basically. And I'm basically thinking about my friendship list, because like, cause yes, I do have a friendship list, not like on paper, but like in, you know, here in my mind. So I have a friendship list, and basically I I kind of just like suspended him, because here's the thing. I just don't like to hold grudges. That's what I just don't like. I don't like hold Hey guys, so while I'm editing this video, I just want to let you know that the camera kind of cut it off, so I, you know, basically it just cut it off but anyways. So I pretty much I forgot to mention that um, basically um, my mom also told me that, you know, that I should have recorded the situation, but I didn't because, you know, I just didn't. I kind of just decided not just, you know, talk to him for a while. So, yeah, just wanted to mention that. I look back at the video like this, right? Like my 3DS, looking back at the video. And I saw like, and then I just closed the 3DS and, and basically that was it. I didn't get an apology from this guy until like, um, I think like months later. But you guys, y'all, when I tell you, 
what happened after the fact of this whole thing, this whole episode, y'all better stay tuned.